to make something out. To make something out is to decipher or recognize Alain? something. Alan, is that you? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm doing a video just now. Please, please, Alan. Can, can, can we go for an interview? No, I'm doing, I'm doing a phrasal verb video at the moment. 77 phrasal verb, my favorite uh, YouTube channel, please. No, but I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing, a, I'm, I'm explaining, a, I'm explaining a phrasal verb at the moment. Please, please, can we go for an interview, please? Please, Alan. I don't have any questions ready. Please, please, let's go. Ahead. Please, you are my favorite YouTuber. Please. Okay, okay. Let me ask him. Thank you, Alan. What's your name? Alexander. Alexander. Okay, Alexander. Right. But do you know? Do you know any phrasal verbs? Yeah, I know some some of them. Yeah, because I, them? I, I'm one of your biggest fans. Yeah. Right. Okay. We'll just try try to answer and try to use the phrasal verb. Okay. I'll try. Okay. Let's see. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Hello, Hello. and welcome Thank you. to 77 Phrasal Verbs. This evening I am interviewing Alexander. Alexander. That's right. From France. From France. Yes. Especially Lyon. From Lyon, okay. Okay, Alex. Here's your first question. Have you ever nodded off in a public place? Well, yes, every day when I take the tube, I usually nod off. I have to admit, to admit it, yeah, in the tube, yeah. Okay. Uh, second question. Have you come up with any good ideas recently? Yeah, three months ago, a good uh, idea came up in my mind to take up sport, more especially pull-ups and push-ups. Yeah, in a sports room. Yeah, so I practice sports now, and I feel healthier than before. Okay, thank you. Interesting, Alexander. Uh, do you have any ideas for English teachers to liven up their lessons? Mm, yeah, perhaps. I think they have to teach uh, small groups of students to make them participate as much as possible. Because I think you can't uh, be taught English, you have to, to learn it. So you have to practice your communication skill, your reading, your listening. So if there is a big classroom, it's very hard for the students to improve their English abilities. Yeah. Okay, interesting, good. And perhaps they, they can uh, do some role plays to enter in characters to embody another man. It's useful to improve English. Mm, good, good idea, interesting. Right, uh, let's have one final question then. Uh, is there anything that you need to brush up on? Yeah, the last few weeks I think I've improved my English abilities, but I still have some problems, uh, especially in my pronunciation. <laughs> I think in most cases people notice that I'm French, so I have to brush up on my pronunciation. Yeah, it's true, Alan. Okay, excellent. Well, uh, that's great then. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Alexander, thank you for talking to 77 phrasal verbs. Yeah, 70 phrasal verbs. Seventy-seven phrasal verbs. Seventy-seven phrasal verbs.